morning, good morning. It's stopped raining. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such a relief not to wake up and be trudging through mud. Yes. For a change, sun's out. We might actually get a bit of solar power today. We are mud at Lawton Moorings, just outside Church Lawton. It's the bottom of the Lawton treble locks. There you go. So we did move on from Red Bull. Eventually. Finally, yesterday. Mm. Uh, we actually had some letters about Red Bull. In fact, we had one. Uh, it's uh, it's a letter from from uh, Bob Downing Cockermouth, <coughs> and he uh, what? His sister Wendy in Wet Wang, <laughs> uh, and he says, uh, "Is Red Bull called after the Red Bull drink? Is it sponsored by Red?" No, <laughs> no, it's not. We did a lot of research and we have absolutely no idea why it's called Red Bull, but there you go. Uh, so we are in Church Lawton, we're going to head out today. We're going north, over the aqueduct, round the corner, past the British Waterways workyard, into Road Heath, up towards Thirlwood, and then we go out into the country. Uh, we pass the village of Betchton and go up towards Hassel Green, and hopefully there'll be a space on the visitor moor in near Lock 57. Woohoo! Hopefully. Fingers crossed. You ready? No, but we'll go. Come on, come on. Just after we did Aircastle Tunnel the other day, I thought I'd have a wander down to the old disused railway tunnel. And I got about 20 yards in and chickened out. It was just a bit too dark. Come running home. <laughs> but I wanted to go in, so uh, I rang a friend of mine and we went down yesterday. You know who he is. This is what happened. Just to the west side of the south portal of the Harecastle Canal Tunnels is the old route of the North Staffordshire Railway. Now there used to be a station just here called Chatterley Station and that's why some people still refer to this side of the canal tunnels as the Chatterley Portal. Now if you follow the old track bed north you'll see it comes to another tunnel entrance. And this is the south portal of the Southern Harecastle Railway Tunnel. It's been disused for over 50 years but I wanted to go and have a look. So I gave a friend of mine a call. So just 18 feet underneath and to the sides are the canal tunnels. On that side, it's the Telford tunnel that we've just gone through on Silver Fox. But I couldn't resist coming up to this. This is the old abandoned Harecastle South Railway Tunnel on the North Staffordshire Railway Line. They abandoned it because they couldn't electrify it back in the 1960s. Uh, so they rerouted the railway and this tunnel, which is about a mile long, has been abandoned ever since. Now, you know I like to explore but I'm just too much of a pussy to do it on my own and there's only one man I could think of that could help me out. <laughs> so Martin Zero's back with me and... Hello. I won't say he's going to hold my hand as we go through, but I'm hoping he's going to look after me. Are you ready? You can reach. Come on, you go first. You go right. first. I'm not going first. It's rather dark though, isn't it? Yeah. You go first. I'm right behind you. you bring a top? <laughs> oh no! So we're about 300 yards into the tunnel and you can just see this uh, big set of scaffolding. And as you come under it, there's the first of the ventilation shafts. Wow, that's not actually that high. Uh, I would say that's probably only, what, about 100 feet? Not that much. Yeah, how is it? So 
so we're about 500 yards into the tunnel uh, and we've just spotted this it looks I thought it was a vent like a, a drainage ditch but it actually looks like oh it's weird I'm gonna show you instead you come down it's not big enough to crawl through it's certainly by the looks of all that too dangerous to crawl through but if you come right down and right in it opens up just back there and it's it's huge it looks like a cave or something but you can see the rock the flatness of the rock above it and then it kind of opens up inside it's just a pity that whatever it is that's collapsed over the years has blocked it off Ugh, crawl back out again <laughs> I, I'm a little bit filthy. Gonna I am going to get done. I'm doing washing for next week. Oh. Yeah, it does. Yeah. This is weird. It's like walking on another planet. It's weird. Oh my god, it's just so <laughs> squelchy. Ugh. Sean's gonna love me when I turn up. It's just like another planet. Alright, now it's getting a bit weird. Alright, it got a bit deep there. <laughs> Do you know what, it's, it reminds me of like when we were 10 and used to go exploring. Yeah. You're going to get so done. I am going to get told off when I get back to the boat. I'm going to get done as well. I'm absolutely covered and Kate's my nice jeans and your nice jeans we'll as well. The fashion gilet. <laughs> <My explorers>. Fashion <laughs> gilet. <laughs> it's an explorer's fashion gilet with multiple pockets for various <laughs> devices that you may need whilst exploring. And it's covered in iron ore because iron of ore. you. Because of me. <laughs> so as we, got, as we got towards the last couple of hundred yards, uh, we tried. We did hear it was flooded, but we didn't realise it was like that flooded. Uh, and it's like we got to ankle deep and it was just, it was getting deeper and deeper. So as much as Martin wanted to carry on, and I would have given him a piggyback if I'd have had my wellies with me. But definitely needed wellies, didn't we? Definitely needed wellies. Mm. Uh, but that is Harecastle South Tunnel. Uh, so we've got the Brindley Tunnel on that side. We've got the Telford Tunnel on that side. My hands are a little bit black. I tell you what, even though I've got black hands, thank you for walking me through <laughs> yeah, there. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already, check out Martin's channel uh, called Martin Zero on YouTube. Uh, we've put a link up there so that you can get to see it. Loads of history and tunnels and rivers and canals and railways and stuff like that. You'll love it. If you love this channel, which you obviously do, you'll love Martins too. I can't get over the colour of us. <laughs> Are we up for some dinner? I'm actually quite hungry to be honest with you. Yeah, let's yeah. go find some chips yeah. then. Look at me, uh, my head's wet as well. <laughs> This is Lock 53, or Thirlwood Lock, on the Trent and Mersey Canal. Like most of the locks down here, it was doubled up by Thomas Telford in the 1830s. But there were also salt mining, and the brine pumping caused the other lock to kind of break up and subside. The subsidence was damaging it. But they needed to keep two locks open. So they built this really kind of futuristic looking steel lock. It was like a box, a steel box. It had guillotine gates. The water would empty and fill from the lock on pipes on the side and they had ladders. It was quite revolutionary for its time. The good thing about it was is if there was more subsidence, they could jack the lock up. They could move it to keep it working. I'd say it sounds really good. The problem was the boaters didn't like it. It took too long to use and they were having problems with it too. And they built it in 1958, but by 1988, it wasn't getting used and it was out of use, so they ended up chopping it up and selling it for scrap. And now, it would have been nice to see it. It would have sat right to my right-hand side. 
but there's only pictures now. So we're in Road Heath. Uh, well, actually, Thirlwood. Well, in the olden -de days, like olden -de. when Sean was little, <laughs> Road Heath and Thirlwood were two different villages. If you look from the drone shots, you can actually see that over the years, the housing estates on the villages have kind of gone together and merged together, and now it's just like one village called Road Heath. Uh, but this is Thirlwood Lock, so this is where Thir it's still on the map as Thirlwood. I'm making this really complicated, aren't I? I'm off for a cup of tea. <laughs> Don't this music remind you of uh, which one were Windy Miller in? <laughs> were it Trumpton or Camberwick Green? Both, wasn't it? Was Camberwick it. Green. I think he was, wasn't it? He were a weird bloke, wasn't he? Windy Miller. Were, he were a Quaker, wasn't he? He had like a Quaker's hat on. Yeah. You remember? Yeah. Can you remember the noise it used to make? <laughs> I bet you can't remember what the name of his windmill was. There you go. That's the question. I can. What was Windy Miller's windmill? What was the name of it? Put your answers down below if you know it. I know. Really? Yeah. Didn't you know that? No. Mind of useless information. <laughs> A few days ago I got a message from a lady called Sue over here in England and she was telling me about Brother Paul uh, watching all our vlogs and always telling Sue what we were up to and uh, how far we'd gotten, how comical we'd been and, and things like that and how much he wanted to come over from America where he lives to Britain to meet us and hopefully we're re when he retired we'd kind of inspired him to spend his retirement years on a narrowboat and she also told me how uh, Paul had said how he was worried about me and and how well I was doing sort of coping with the mental health issues and that kind of connected because Paul suffers from uh, depression and anxiety quite bad. Uh, unfortunately Paul didn't get the help that he needed and he took his own life a couple of weeks ago and uh, I was talking to Sue about it and she sent me a message saying uh, uh, Paul had mentioned that you hadn't been well and he was concerned while telling me how well you'd done and that it had been a very difficult time and uh, Paul really admired you Colin, his face would light up when he was chatting about your journeys and he said to me you both cheered him up and it was his escape and the sad thing was he was coming over to stay with me two weeks before he took his life because it was my son's wedding and Paul said to me, hey Sue, can we meet Colin and Sean when I'm over? 
Because I would love that. But he didn't make it. He took his own life before he got a chance to. I'm sorry. And I just wanted to kind of pay tribute to Paul and Sue said it was okay to do this message and a lot of people say that mental health issues are invisible. This is not invisible, is it? You don't have to talk openly like I do. You don't have to be public about it, but just talk to somebody if it's that bad. So this vlog is dedicated to Paul. You okay? I'm all right. <laughs> he wouldn't want us to be sad about it, oh. so we're not going to have some sort of big dramatic ending. We're going to carry on because that's what he would have wanted. All right. But if you love somebody or care about them, send them a text now and just tell them and let them know. All right. Get me phone. I ain't got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Better be me you're texting. <laughs> uh, we have got about two and a half miles today then. Started off at Lawton Locks and Lawton Mooring this morning. Uh, we're now at Hassel Green Locks. That's the first of them, Lock 57. We've done four locks today. And it's been gorgeous. It Brightness. Has, it has made a change and it does, it is a lot better, isn't it? Oh God, yes. Cruising in sunshine, it is a lot better. And there's something nearby, it's within like five minutes walk of where we are. I hadn't told him this yet, where I'm gonna take Sean later today and we'll show you in next week's vlog <laughs> i'll give you a clue it's something to do with the generation game okay you could be isla st clair i'm not isla st clair you can do irish accent better than i can i'm not doing <laughs> st clair you oh, i don't know that because you're you're kind of a natural larry grayson aren't you no i'm Bru <laughs> i'm brucey yeah brucey i'm gonna <laughs> swear then <laughs> So that's coming next time. Uh, normally say I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I hope you appreciate the vlog for what it is this week. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It makes a big difference if you subscribe to the channel. Yes, it does. Hit the notifications icon. YouTube will let you know every time we release a new episode. And even better, if you want to support the channel, become a Patreon. There's a link on its way and it just helps us to keep the channel going. If you love it. If not, don't matter. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> uh, we're off for a warm up to get the fire going. Yes. And to get some tea. And until next week, take care. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you later. Bye see you bye. later. Bye. If that's this way, we'll cut that bit out. Hey. We're like steam engines. You ready? <laughs> ready? You, uh, you'd be a rubbish Thomas, I can't even talk, my lips are freezing up. Just after we did Haircastle Tunnel, I noticed the old... Uh... No, I'm not building that up well at all, am I? <laughs>
<laughs> Do it again then. Lock 50. And they were having all sorts of problems. All right. I thought the camera was making a noise and it was the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs>